Hey y'all, yes, it's me, Rose. I am back with another recipe for you guys. Today I will be making fried okra. Let me tell you guys a quick story. My brother-in-law put me on fried okra and now I cannot stop eating it. Why buy it when I can make it myself? So I am going to show you guys the way that I like to make fried okra. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't miss out on beautiful, delicious recipe. I upload here every day, so you do not want to miss on those videos. So yeah, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's make this fry okra. So basically, you just cut the top part of it, the tail, and then you can just about an inch like so and make sure you dry your okra because you don't want it to be wet okay I just really really love fried okra I didn't know I was in love with fried okra I mean I love okra period but I never tried fried okra until like a couple months ago so I used to buy them all the time and then I'm like why not make it myself I kind of like read the ingredients or whatever on the label of the one that I I buy <laughs> so basically I try to take some of the ingredients they listed on there and combine it with some of the ingredients that I think that might go well with it and you guys let me tell you this tastes amazing 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 I can't wait for you guys to see the final result or if you guys want to try it let me know down below and if you guys make yours different definitely let me know down below because I'm always learning you know it's never too you never too old to learn okay so I like to hear stories on how other people are cooking like I like to see how other people cook I can learn from other people cooking too so I don't really like when they make sounds like this feel like they're too old maybe maybe it's just me I like the soft one when it's nice and soft and flexible that's the type that I like all right I just got done finished with all these nice and clean and cut I am going to put them on the side so we can season our flour over here I have some self rising flour keep in mind self rising flour I will be adding, this is about a cup, I will be adding about half a cup of cornmeal in here. Yellow cornmeal, just add that in there. Now I am going to be seasoning my flour with some pepper, okay. Pepper. All right, over here I have some Cajun seasoning with some garlic powder. I will just add that in here. It's kind of wet, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now I am also adding a little bit of paprika. And I'll be adding some cornstarch in there as well to make it nice and crispy. About two tablespoons of cornstarch in there. We're just gonna whisk everything together. And don't forget your salt. I almost did, so let me add my salt in here. Salt. Mix it all up together. I 
as always, there's always something in the background, so I'm taking over. What I just poured in this cup was some buttermilk. I am taking my okra, drop it in the seasoned flour. Make sure you dredge the okra really good in the seasoned flour. Shake the excess flour off and then add it to your buttermilk, okay? I am just going to do just that. And you guys, I do have a vlog channel. If you are not subscribed, the link will be down below. I vlog every now and then. I do challenges, pranks, and all the, that stuff. So subscribe if you guys are interested on in seeing my life. <laughs> Besides cooking video, if you guys are interested on in seeing that, you can go ahead and subscribe to that channel. The link is down below. So what I am going to do right now is just basically take out the um, okra from there and then we want to put it back of course in the flour now you can do it twice if you want like a thick breading on the okra but I wasn't going I wasn't going for that type type of okra but I did did it for my last batch it turned out okay but I like it with the thin layer I, I want to eat the okra you know not the bread so that's what it looks like now I am going to add my oil in this skillet right here make sure the pot or the skillet is nice and hot before you add your oil on it and then add your oil let it get hot don't add it to no cold oil otherwise the okra will just suck up all the oil and you're gonna be chewing and eating straight oil as you guys can see how I test out the oil just drop a little flour in there that's how I test it okay and then if it's sizzling or whatever that I means it's hot and then just add it I'm adding it one by one I didn't want to just pour everything in there and then next thing you know I burn myself so yeah that's why I added little by little one by one or whatever and then we want to let that cook until it's nice and golden brown for about three to five minutes and then you want the okra to cook too so you don't want to put your heat way high to a point where it cooks or it gets golden brown really fast and the okra is not cooked inside so you don't want that make sure you are using a uh, maybe medium medium high heat to cook these okay they getting nice and golden brown you can flip them over and then once it's time for you to take them out just take them out okay and this is how they look so far and I did my last batch like I said with the double breading I didn't really like it but if you that type of girl you can go ahead and do it but once it's done this is it it's nice and beautiful it looks really nice and golden brown and of course it tastes really good it's like a chips it's like a snack you know you just want to eat when you're just chillaxing watching tv or whatever with a glass of wine i don't know about that but this is it you guys i hope you guys enjoy it be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below how you do your your okra your fried okra if you do do it let me know down below i would love to know <laughs> i'm very curious so leave that down below for me make sure you guys go subscribe to my vlog channel and thank you so much for watching stay tuned for another video tomorrow bye